Hi, yo, folks. This is Max from uh, Epic4GTouchRoot.com. So, um, uh, I think I have the first, world's first um, rooted Epic 4G Touch with everything working. Anyway, um, you just need to flash a kernel. Let me show you how to install it. Uh, basically, you need to you need a Windows computer for this because Odin only works on Windows because South Koreans are big about you know Windows. And uh, that's why they built, oh, you know, some South Korean developed built it in, you know, Windows, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's hold down the volume, um, is it up? Yeah, volume up and the power button together until you see, um, you see something here. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I'm getting confused. I've been working on this for like three days straight. And I went to a rave yesterday and I stayed up till like four. And I got back, I, I got up. Oh, that's the wrong one, sorry. Um, just hold down the power button and the volume down. Sorry, that is the volume down. See, I, I partied out too much yesterday. But I'm still got it working, you know, it's amazing. Um, hit volume up once you see the screen. So it's volume down and the power button. If you hold it, th those two down together anytime, it's gonna reset your phone and get you into this mode and then hit volume up. And then it'll get you into this uh, download mode, connect it to USB to your Windows computer. Let's go to our computer. Next what you'll do is uh, download uh, Epic 4G 4G root v1.zip. Uh, I'm gonna try to, because this is kind of still experimental, I don't know, I mean, the main stuff are working but I'm not sure well, I want to optimize it more, like add more features, so I'm going to call it Zetomax Kernel. And I'll have more revisions. Um, this is the first one, so hopefully, um, maybe you guys can tell me uh, if everything's worked. I mean, you know, all the main stuff are working, but you can tell me. Anyway, this is how you do it. Um, you need to actually install Samsung Keys uh, because that will install the driver. I'll have links on where you can get that too. And let me just show you how to check that you have proper drivers installed go to control panel and then hardware and sound device manager and under USB devices uh, you will see that you have um, this thing called store uh, click under storage control no, no sorry universal serial bus controllers that's USB controllers long for USB uh, you'll see Samsung mobile USB CDC composite device if you have that you're all ready to go and when you open up Odin, um, say yes, you should get uh, something like this and you'll get a com something number. If you get that, that means your driver's installed and you're in download mode and you're ready to flash. And simply go to PDA and then go find the, uh, the folder, the same folder, Epic Touch 4G root V1. And then simply flash this, open and start. And you won't lose anything, so you don't have to back up anything. Um, this, so it should work fine. Uh, and my phone's rebooting, so let's go to our phone now. Anyway, now it's rebooting. It rebooted. Um, go to applications. Oops. First boot is a little bit slow. Um, I get 3G, 4G, and Wi-Fi. Show that it's working. Well, it's working now. Um, go to applications, and you should have super user, right? And Wi-Fi working, and Bluetooth and GPS. Anyway, uh, leave comments. Um, don't forget to check out my new site, Epic 4G um, Touch root.com um, when other develop other, the developers are gonna make a bunch of ROMs I'm gonna post a bunch of ROM reviews tips and uh, you know just check out my sound to tell your friends about it thanks y'all and uh, you've got a fully rooted epic 4g touch now um, I think you can actually go install uh, clockwork mod recovery off ROM manager um, but later I'm gonna try to include it in the kernel um, but it doesn't matter. You can just go. You, once you have root, you can go install it. And I'll have another video on that. But thanks, y'all. It's been a great three days. 
Um, and I even partied, you know, last night. So it's all good. Epic 4G touch. Um, rooted. See y'all later. And uh, special credits to uh, user Shabby Penguin who helped me guide the way. Um, we kind of like worked off each other, and uh, he had the kernel fully working uh, with no Wi-Fi. And all I did was uh, take some of his files, and then um, I got the Wi-Fi working. So see y'all later. Uh, and also user T A N I M N at X E A. Thanks you guys, and see y'all later. Subscribe.